Hey, I want to say that it's very easy to allow all of your hurt and your pain and your frustration and your despair. It's very easy to allow all these things to kind of dictate what you do or how you act or your thought process, how you respond, what you say, all these things. It's very easy to allow all the pain and the hurt and whatnot to dictate how you respond to a person, how you act towards a person. Very easy, right? Does that mean that your hurt and your pain is not valid? Absolutely not. Your your hurt and your pain is valid and and it's legitimate. And if you're angry, you should be angry. If you're sad, you should be sad. If 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 you're hurt, you should be hurt. Allow yourself to experience all those emotions because it is healthy to be angry sometimes. It's healthy to be mad, is to, to be sad or frustrated, whatever. It's healthy. But the real challenge becomes it's, it's, it's such that if you allow your emotions to dictate your actions, you will never be able to ask yourself, why or what if which is to say that you can ask the person who hurt you why or what if but if you have that mentality you won't listen to their response you won't understand their response i guess if i was to say anything allow your chance allow yourself a chance to say what if, to ask why, legitimately ask why, for legitimate understanding. Because it's not for the other person's benefit, but it's for you so that you can have true understanding. I would also make mention that, um, I have never in my life told any child of mine that I don't want them. I've never stated that I don't want them in my life. Stop bothering me, this, that, and the other. Never said that. And will never will say that. As long as God gives me breath until my last dying day, I will always be available for all four of my kids all four of you I will always be available to ask questions I will always be available for you to vent from time to time I will always be available if, if you guys want to hang out I will always make myself available to the best of my ability to the best of my ability even if it's as simple as having a video call we can do that you want to hang out we can do that. We can do that. And I would hope to do that with all four of my kids, individually and collectively, maybe. All four of my kids. The, the greatest roadblock that any of us have is ourselves. Especially when we get into, well, I'm hurt, I'm mad, I'm frustrated, this, that, and the other. So, no, I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it, you know? That's the greatest roadblock that any of us have, is ourselves. It's, it's not things, the, the greatest war, the greatest battle that any of us will endure is ourselves. Because we ourselves get in, in, we get in, we get in our own way. Right? We hold ourselves back. Because there's times when, and, and it's not bad, I guess, but there's times when, no, I don't want to move. You know, I'm staying right here, right? We all do that. But man, think of the possibilities if you just take a step. Think of the things that you can accomplish if you just reach out. Just reach out a hand, right?
your hurt and your pain is legitimate and nobody can tell you otherwise. It is legitimate. But maybe if you can get to the point where you can ask why or what if, maybe you can start getting some of that healing. It's just like I, I tell the crew here, I'm not worried about you right now. You right now is isn't so much a big deal right now. Right, right, right. You know, me not being at a game right now, not a a really big deal, right? It is a big deal. But it's just something that you just kind of deal with from time to time, right? You know, okay, well, well, he's not here, or 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 he's not at my play, or he's not at my graduation. You know, he's he, he didn't do this, he didn't do that. You know. In the right now, it hurts, but overall, you can push through. But I'm much more concerned about how all these things in the right now start to add up, right? And how that affects not just the person for right now, but how it affects the 15-year-old version of you. How it affects the 25 version of you, the 35, the the 55 year old I'm much more concerned about how it affects you later on when you've got a wife and kids right when you when you're supposed to be I don't know a a, a deacon of the church I'm much more concerned about how it allows how it changes you such that you're not the best version of you right hope that makes sense so If I had any advice, I would say don't allow your hurt and pain to get such where you don't have the ability to heal. Because that healing has got to start right now. Right now. Don't allow your hurt and your pain to get so much where you can't deal with anybody. And I mean anybody. Don't allow it to force you to get to the point where you... You just avoid any and everybody and you don't deal with people and, 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 well, there's a whole list of things that could happen. Start to heal. Not for my benefit, not for my benefit, but for your benefit. I am available. Does it seem like it? But I am available. I'm available at all times. 24 7, 365. I am available. And if you want to know what I think or why I did it or why did I act in a certain way, feel free to ask me why. Feel free to ask me what if. Because I guarantee you, I have no problems talking for myself. I can do that. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. I don't say this stuff to piss anybody off. I don't say this stuff to irritate or frustrate anybody. But I'm 40 years old. I can speak for myself, man. <laughs> and I can tell you exactly what I was thinking. So, it's okay to be hurt. You're not the only one hurt. I am too. We all are, right? And not just us, but there's a whole family that's hurt. Great grandparents, grandparents, uncles, and aunts. Half brother, step brother, step sister. There's a lot of people that are hurt. So feel free to ask. Feel free to ask. I guarantee you that I will, I will answer any question that you might have. 
Be good. Be good. I love you, dude. Be good.